Mr. Beagley. Hey there, guys and gals, it's Gerbeagley with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagley, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called The Aftermath, and this game is an entry into GMC uh, Jam Number 1, I believe is what it's called. It's a post-apocalyptic theme. So essentially, the premise of this game is that you're an office worker who's been assigned to the task of judging people based off of papers that you get. You get documents that say basically what their interests are and what they've done in life and then you get to judge whether they go to heaven or hell so I've been told this is a lot like papers please which I've never played personally but it sounds a lot like the same premise so a cataclysmic event has caused the death of every living being on earth the judgment day has come with it loads of paperwork people must go to heaven or hell you are the only judge controls right click to drag and left click to zoom in and out so all right we can go ahead and drag this paper Wong Parker so, uh, I'm assuming his name's actually Parker Wong, uh, he's from Togo, he's a 38-year-old male who plays basketball, chess, and tennis, and he stole money from an old lady, but he has a cancer. He has a cancer? Not a specific cancer? Alright, so, uh, we drag the paper here onto the table, and, you know what, he stole money from an old lady, but he's 38. He probably did it when he was like a teenager or something, he's probably not too bad of a guy. Let's send him to heaven, that seems okay to me. So then we put the paper in the drawer, send him on his way he's going to heaven it's okay it's all right he's not gonna steal any money from people up in heaven I think that he'll be all right so Susie Portland so I guess that other guy's name was Wong was his first name Wong Parker or whatever but Susie Portland is from Mauritania and she's a 98 year old female and she loves role-playing games and rope skipping sounds like my kind of grandma um, she is an anti heterosexual so she what she's against heterosexuals or she's a homosexual I don't know what that means if she's gay that's fine I'm not gonna judge her um, has inherited uh, inherited mental disorders from her parents and has a cancer uh, okay so she has cancer and she has some mental issues as well but that's not her fault it even says right there she inherited them I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give her that give her the stamp of approval now I don't know what happens if you put multiple clicks on the same thing so if I were to drag the stamp over it and like just label heaven all over the box and then also put like hell as well if that would change anything I have no idea we're gonna give it a try with Deborah Griffin here though from Monaco she's an eight-year-old female who likes climbing bicycle riding and rope skipping typical little girl she couldn't go to school young she has two daughters and four what she has two daughters and four sons at the age of eight? First of all, I don't know if that's genetically possible unless some weird sort of family dynamic thing happened there. Uh, I'm assuming they'd maybe be like adopted daughters and sons or she's the evil stepmom and I don't know how they do things in Monaco but girls normally can't have babies when they're two or whenever she would have had to start having these kids. That also would not have been her fault. Um, and it would explain why she couldn't go to school when she was young, although eight is still quite young. I'd say she can go to heaven, but Deborah, I'm going to also try to send you to hell on top of it. No? Okay, I thought maybe I could get out of my job by letting someone else out there decide. I guess heaven is where you're going to go with your children, maybe. I, I, why? Why does she have children? I don't know. Now, I don't know if this game, since it's a jam entry, has any sort of limit if you can get to an ending of any sort, but I'm having a blast judging people. I like silently judging people. I won't even lie. It's one of my hobbies is when I'm like at the mall or out in public or somewhere. I will sit back and I will people watch. Now, I don't judge them about things that are like too extreme. You know, I'm not like, oh, that guy has a band shirt on that I don't like. I don't like that band. What an idiot. What a jerk. I hate him. I hope he gets hit by a car on the way home. I'm nothing like that. But, you know, I like to listen. I like to observe and make judgments based off of people and make educated guesses based on what they say and I overhear. Things like that. So, anyway, this game is perfect for me due to that fact. Brian Wendell is from Bulgaria. He's 46 years old. He likes swimming, football, and bicycle riding. Some pretty active passions. Good for him. Life Info is hugely talkative. Hey, he's, <laughs> he's me. And he helped 80 prisoners escape from jail. 
Now, I don't know how things are done in Bulgaria. I don't know. Maybe they were part of something good. Maybe they didn't belong in jail. Maybe it was for very minor indiscretions because normally we separate the terms jail and prison, at least here in the States. But jail is where you go for, like, minor offenses. Prison is where you go if you've really fucked up somehow. So, I don't know. Brian Wendell, that's a lot of prisoners, though. 80 prisoners escaping from jail? I feel like he had to have had a reason, though. Like... I don't know, maybe it was a revolution that got put down. Ah, uh, God. I don't know, that, that doesn't sound that bad to me. See, this is where I get in trouble because I devil's advocate myself. This is going to be tough. Ah, fuck it. I'm sending you to heaven, man. Maybe you can help some people escape hell later on or something like that. All right, let's go ahead and see what Dice Kid Johnstone, that's a very mashed up name, from Cuba... <laughs> He is up to, as an 85-year-old male, he loves hard rock, learning languages, and game develop it. development. He's racist, is a drug addict, and adds Reno Jackson to all their Hearthstone decks. What is Reno Jackson? I don't know what that card is, but it, I haven't played Hearthstone in a long time. I'm sorry. I apologize for not being familiar with the lore there. But apparently, maybe it's like an obnoxious card that pisses off people. I don't know. But he's a racist and a drug addict. He's a racist. His his first name's Daisuke, which is Japanese, and his last name is Johnstone, which is like as white as you can get. Like, how, how could he be ra I mean, I, anyone can be racist. That's the whole point of racism. But Dude, you live in Cuba, and you got, like, a mixed family. All right, you're going to hell. Screw you, man. Screw you for being a judgmental dick, I say ironically and very <laughs> contradictory to what I'm doing because I'm judging everyone in the game. Isaac Thompson from Australia. He's a 52-year-old male who likes cooking. Not much else. Simple guy, that Isaac. He enjoys stealing small kids' candy, and he could never afford to go on vacations, and he farts in cars. What a jerk. What a jerk. All right, stop stealing kids' candies, you jerk. Get out of here. If That's like a sick fetish at 52. That's not something that's normal, man. At 52, you should have grown out of bullying kids. That's all I got to say. There's something else wrong with you. Dice guy, Dice Gay Portland, another Dice Gay from the Czech Republic, is a 63-year-old male who likes acrobatics and rope skipping. A lot of jumping about there. Could never afford to go on vacations. I don't think that's something that we could hold against them. Farts in cars, pretty pretty innocent for the most part. Murdered his wife, whom was suspected of abusing their child? Why would you put me in this situation? Why would you put me in this situation, game? Suspected of abusing their child. Now, murder is never right, but hitting a kid... I am very against hitting a kid. I mean, even if the kid's a little shit, the kid's a kid. It doesn't know any better. You don't smack the shit out of it. Like... I Ah, man. Ah, oh, come on, Daisuke. Why do you gotta do this to me? I'm gonna send you to heaven, man. You murdered someone. That's fucked up. But, you know, I, I'm i gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. I bet your wife... She, if she was abusing the kid... Who, it doesn't say physical abuse, either. It could be some other type of abuse, which is even more fucked up. So, you know what? I'm gonna give you the vigilante special there, man. You've earned it. All right. What happens if I try to grab more sheets? I can't grab more than one sheet at once. That would've been kind of cool. Jordan Shinji. So, Jordan has, uh, you know, a very Japanese last name as well. From Senegal, age 90. He's a male. He likes cooking and learning languages. And he helped 80 prisoners escape from jail. Once again, guys, I don't know. Like, there's got to be a story. I feel like he was the compatriot of whoever that other guy was who, you know, helped those people escape from jail. Let's send them to heaven. Together, they're going to plan some giant jail bus, and it will be fine. And it's not like once they go to the afterlife, they can't do that much. Much. You know, there's not much harm that you can cause up in heaven if you're if your only thing was that you help 80 people escape from jail. What are they gonna do? Help 80 angels escape from the food court up there? I don't know what happens in heaven. I I don't know what the hell they would do. So I think they're gonna be pretty innocent. But Anna Fujiyama from Sweden is a 59 year old female who likes swimming and writing. She farts in cars, was involved with the mafia, and helped 80 prisoners escape from jail, and is a drug addict. I feel like Anna Fujiyama, I don't know, you know, if she's involved with the mob and then she's also helping prisoners escape, she's probably helping a lot of, like, convicted felons and shit like that get out of there. That's a little fucked up, Anna. I'm gonna go ahead and send you to hell. You're a little bit messed up. Get out of here. You're also addicted to drugs. Get off the funky junk, you crazy. All right, William Fleming, Sierra Leone. Not that I have a problem with people who do drugs. I mean, 
if you do drugs, that's on you. That's something that you personally have made the life decision for. As long as it's not affecting the other people in your life, then, you know, have at it. Just be responsible. Don't don't do bad stuff to yourself or those around you. That's all I got to say. Anyway, PSA over. William Fleming is a seven-year-old kid who loves baseball. He has cancer. He robbed a bank at seven and is a drug addict? He also farts in cars, which is not the most egregious offense he has there. He's a drug addict and he robs banks. I mean, at the age of seven, maybe, I don't know, maybe he watched Breaking Bad a lot and he was like, you know what? I have cancer too. I gotta live on the wild side and go nuts. But he robbed a bank at seven. I just, I'm more impressed by that one. How did he manage at the age of seven to do that? Um, uh, the drug addict thing, it might not be his fault. If he's seven, he, he, he might be addicted to the drugs that are helping him get rid of cancer, treat cancer. So I can't judge him on that one. You know what? He's a seven-year-old boy. He's got plenty of time. He's got the rest of eternity to grow up and hopefully do better as a person. So let's go ahead and send Will little William off to rob the banks in heaven. That's fine by me. Patrick Cardigan is from Se Seychelles. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I've offended anyone for mispronouncing something. Um, he is a 76-year-old male who loves acrobatics and swimming, and he helped 80 prisoners escape from jail. Good lord, why is that like one that's happening so much? Also, I've noticed there's a lot of repeats in the traits in the life info i don't know if this game has random generation or what the deal is with it if there's like you know because obviously a lot of the first and last names are the same as well which is believable because there's people with the same names all over the earth but i have no idea if it's actually just spitting out like a predetermined list of names or if this is randomly generated if it's randomly generated that's even cooler i like that a lot um Luis Esp uh, Esposito, I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, Mozambique male 69, swimming, cooking, basketball, is gaming addicted, not the worst thing in the world, I have to say, as a fellow game addict, is a social activist, not so bad, trying to fight for your rights to party, and tried to shoot the leader of their country. Okay, that's where social activision, activ activism takes a very dark turn, and maybe you don't want it. I mean, I'm not exactly familiar with what goes on in Mozambique, so I don't know, like, I'm not up to world affairs in Mozambique specifically, so I don't know maybe if shooting the leader of their country is the thing that they want to do over there or not, but I feel like that's something bad, man. Like, you're, um, it's kind of a, a dark thing, dude. I'm going to send you to hell for that one. Don't murder people. You can, if you're a social activist, you should know there are different ways to go about getting, you know, things to change in your country. So anyway, Philippe Circero from Nepal. He is 90-year-old male from who loves shopping and collecting anime figures. He couldn't go to school young and uses the hashtag no filter hashtag, although filters are used. <laughs> That's a pretty goddamn big offense, man. That's a huge sin, Philippe, okay? So you're gonna go- No, you're gonna go to heaven, man. That's fine. I'm alright with it. Whoa, I barely hit that one, but I guess it counts. It's alright. We'll send him on his way. Now, what happens if we don't stab- Stab one of these things? Stamp one of these things. Joshua Griffin from Cambodia is 13 years old. He loves Satanism, tennis, and poker. Hey, you know, no problem with Satanism, man. If you need to follow some sort of organized religion, have at it. If it makes you feel special. Um, is it very is very respectful of the environment um okay uh all right so it won't let me put it in the drawer i don't see that there's anything wrong with this kid he's a 13 year old boy who's experimenting with satanism and you know going on his way but he loves the environment like obviously he's not a bad dude all right let's see here amber williams from tajikistan uh female age 27 playing piano role-playing games and basketball some pretty decent like varied hobbies there she's you know outside playing games and she also likes to be inside playing games as well and is musical great for her couldn't go to school young has four daughters and two sons murdered his wife okay well that's gonna get different if a female his I, okay whatever regardless murdered his wife whom was suspected of abusing their children struggled all their life to maintain the life of their trisomic child all right um so trisomic is that like their third child is that what that means so like their third child struggled to stay alive and so they had to like try to keep the child alive and she had a really hard life and then found out that her wife was actually abusing their other child or that child even and then she murdered him 
I don't know, man. Uh, that, I'm putting together the story here. That's kind of the cool part of this game. There's not a lot of gameplay to it, but it's kind of cool in the sense that it makes you think outside the box a little and try to craft a story for some of these people. Um, I'm going to give Amber the benefit of the doubt here. Sounds like she had a hard life, and it sounds like she is a pretty well-rounded person. Probably came from a logical place. Once again, uh, let's go ahead and send them to heaven. I'm sending a lot of murderers to heaven. It's... <laughs> A lot of criminals are going to heaven, but like I said, guys, I'm just making up a story in my own head, giving them, you know, the benefit of the doubt. It's not exactly like I'm given a ton on these documents to work with here. I'm just doing my best. Please don't yell at me. But anyway, guys, with that, I'm going to stop it here at 15 sheets. I don't know if the game saves my progress or anything like that, so I don't know if I'm going to get a second episode of this out or not, but what I did play was really fun for a jam entry, you know, very simplistic gameplay elements, very, very, very simple game easy to pick up and play but it does have a humor element to it and it does have like I said a deeper narrative going on to some degree at least one that you can make up yourself which I always like I like when a game draws me in enough so that I as the gamer am able to sort of craft my own universe and my own speculations based off of the evidence that I see in the game but anyway guys if you enjoyed this video please be sure to hit the like button share the video in favor of it. also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already for those of you who have thank you so much for all of your support you guys are the best in the world I love every single one of you and as always it was great seeing ya Bye-bye. Sir, please.